I'm forever hearing something. I want to get lots of content done today. I like this. I like this a lot. Oh shoot. I have tons of content for you guys. It's expensive, but it's amazing. <laughs> Hey guys welcome back to another vlog so you guys see me make my version of the Starbucks uh, medicine ball tea Target didn't have the secondary tea that technically Starbucks uses but I have to say the peach bellini I believe that's what it's called um, mixed in with the jade tastes almost exact honestly I can't tell a difference I don't know maybe it's just me but it's really good um, so I believe I put the recipe on the screen when I showed you guys that um, but I will also have it in the description down below as well for anybody who cares to kind of remake it at home for themselves but if you guys cannot tell my voice sounds a little weird and that's because I am under the weather unfortunately I am coming over a cold I have to say I am starting to feel a little bit better I think one more like day basically the rest of today and hopefully by tomorrow like it'll be on its way out but only time will tell and we will have to see but um, I've been in the house because of it and just taking medicine and I've also if you guys can't tell we are in the office but I have the couch um, leaned back because I kind of made like a little pallet because I don't want to get bubby sick so we've been sleeping separately just to make sure that you know she doesn't get sick because we don't need that so um, yeah I've been in here and like I said I'm starting to feel better drinking my tea taking my medicine and also doing the neti pot if you don't know what that is it basically clears out your sinuses and stuff which is great for me personally because I've been pretty stuffed up I do find though that I'm more stuffy at night than I am during the day I don't know why but I have my Vicks on deck right here and I've been applying that as well just to kind of like help me breathe and stuff um, Roxy's behind me laying down per usual but yeah I just wanted to start off today's um, video vlog whatever to start the vlog off another vlog um, I feel like I've been pretty consistent not just on YouTube but also with Instagram and TikTok. by the way I don't know if you guys remember me saying that like I didn't care too much about TikTok, but I'm actually starting to really really enjoy like posting on there and Loki Haki 
I posted two things one was yesterday and then something else today but like now I'm obsessing over like how my feed looks so I low-key want to just take those two video down take those two videos down and repost them another like in the same order but another day just so that like I can fix the um what do you call it like the cover or whatever that you see on TikTok it's kind of bothering me it shouldn't but it does let me grab my phone so maybe I can show you guys what I'm talking about hold on and yes before you guys ask I have on red pants with this green pajama shirt and I don't match and I don't care um but anyways let me get to TikTok real quick okay hm, I'm already on there interesting okay anyway so if you guys can see my feed this right here like I want to do like I like this text over here and I like the way that you know this text in here looks right but the text for this one not loving and then obviously this is the one that I just posted so I want the text on this to match this so low-key hockey I want to take down those two videos and just repost them at a later date because it's like I care but I don't care not really I really don't care in terms of like views or whatever but it's just it's for the aesthetics you know so I don't know I'm I'm seriously contemplating it though what is that I'm forever hearing something probably somebody loud behind car but anyway um I should be getting some packages today from Amazon I purchased I did two orders um, but two different days too at that but they are both supposed to be getting here today so if they do we'll open them up together because I'm actually really excited for some if not all the things that I bought because obviously I buy things that I'm excited for all right you guys packages have arrived I have one and two so let's open this one up first since it seems like the lighter package Ugh. I ordered some pretty good stuff I'm actually excited for it I'm not careful at all when opening packages really. all right let's see so this first one is this um what do you call this it says it's a cosmetic organizer, but like it's like a tissue box because there you go. You guys can probably see it right here. So I got this because I am going to show you guys what else I got to put in it. And then I got some makeup sponges or what do you call these? Puffs? Makeup puffs? I picked the all black ones like this so that, you know, you can get underneath the eye. Ooh, soft very soft so I just got a pack of those it comes with one two three four five like six of them that's the first box and then in the second box I am just ooh, so excited okay so I got some lashes because you guys know I love to do my own kind of like lash extensions, if you will. So I have these. This is what the lash looks like. Um, they're not as long as I thought, but I do like the fact that they kind of curl up. And if you're wondering what brand they are, you guys can go ahead and pause the video. So there's that. Also, I will link everything in the description. I've been doing really good with that linking stuff. But I also need to start an Amazon storefront. That just reminds me. Anyway. Um, what? I got some Dose of Colors uh, face, what are you, face sponges. So like facial cleansing sponges. And I'm very interested to try these there's two of them in here so I'm not gonna open it up but that's what this is and then these towels for 
the face. So these are extra large. Can you guys see them? I think it's picking up. But these are extra large. So the acrylic case that I got, this is going to hold the towels for my face. Because I love using um, paper towel. I do not use rags or towel, like actual towels or cloths. None of that. I use paper towels to dry my face. So these are actually um, meant for face, I believe. Um, yep, always have 100% clean and bacteria-free face towel. May alleviate acne and breakouts, especially those triggered by bacteria or fungus. So, got that to try. And I'm going to put that in that thing and sit it on my bathroom counter. And then, what are some of this other stuff? I don't, somehow I don't remember everything I got. Oh, okay. So this right here, this is for my SD cards for my camera. Because I have so many now. I need to keep up with them and I need somewhere to like store them. Currently, hold on, let me see. Um, so this is what I was using before. Nothing special about that, but not that. <laughs> now I can put them in here. So, boom. It's just, you know, you can have the bigger ones and then if there is like little baby ones, like the micro can go in the smaller part in here. And I ain't gonna lie, does feel a little cheapy, but I'm okay with that. It's just holding SD cards, nothing serious. Alright, and then, oh, that's what this is. Okay, so, if you guys recall me telling you that I have been really thoroughly enjoying TikTok, um, I've always been into watching TikToks, but when I say thoroughly enjoying, I mean like posting, creating content for TikTok. So, I went ahead and got one of, because I feel like there's two, like, tripods circulating around TikTok. Um, that everyone's talking about. So Autumn Tech is the brand. And if you see back here, you can extend it. It has like the little remote. And I have tripods that um, have the remote or whatever. But this one is just a little better. So I got the white one. And then, oh, it has the sticker. So I'm really excited to use this and see what this is all about. Okay, definitely gonna play with that for sure. Oh, it has like a little USB charger cable. I guess something needs to be charged. I don't know what needs to be charged, but maybe I can use that tripod for the camera that you guys um, are looking at me through. Uh, the Sony. What is this? I also got something that I don't... Oh, okay, so this is the camera accessory. This is for the Sony. And I got this bracket thing. Okay, you guys are not going to tell really much from looking at it. i got to figure out how to do it because there's like a little metal piece in there too. But anyway, so basically what this is for is, okay, think about it. The camera has the piece or the screw piece like where, the, where you mount it. You mount the camera from the bottom, right? That, that's how I... Like, I'll explain it so it goes on the camera like this right underneath and you mount it from the bottom so when I want to film TikToks on the Sony I could use this on the camera to be able to hold it this way sideways if that makes sense creating a hole for you to mount it onto the thing from the side I don't know if I'm explaining that correctly if you're really interested in what this is definitely check out the link because Obviously, on the link, when you go to the product and the description and the pictures, you'll be able to see a lot better. Because I don't, I didn't do a great job explaining that. But that's what that is. And then the last thing that I have is this lens for the Sony as well that I'm really excited about. This is probably the thing that I'm most excited about because... I did not know until a little minute ago that I could add something like this onto the camera. So this is basically a wide angle lens and it's just supposed to create a wider angle 
for the camera which will be nice for like maybe outside stuff maybe inside too I don't know I have to see how it looks and how it works and all of that but really excited that I got this and can't wait to you know mess with it play with it figure it out but that's it that is all of the little things that I picked up from Amazon I wish I would have kind of waited to do my skincare because it would have been nice to use this and my sponges but it's all good and I'm definitely going to be doing my lashes tomorrow I want to try these out and see how they look hopefully I like them I do have some other lashes in my cart that um, I'm also probably going to check out and buy but I just wanted to start with those that's it though that's all of my Amazon purchases so again I'll have everything linked in the description down below make sure you check there if you're interested in purchasing any of these things also got to work on getting an Amazon storefront so that way I could have one place to go for like all my Amazon stuff because I'm constantly buying from Amazon and I don't know what's taking me so long to make a storefront good morning good morning good morning it has been like two days since I last talked to you guys um, I don't know I've just been busy and also trying to recuperate currently I'm making me some coffee I'm just frothing some creamer Ooh, I probably should have turned it on when I put it in but um, that's what I am doing this morning making coffee today is gonna be a busy content day for me I'm feeling really motivated I know I sound a little congested still which I still am working through like getting all the mucus and stuff out but um the sickness is pretty much gone I am feeling much better um, outside of the way my voice sounds and again you know having to blow my nose every now and then just to get everything out and just clear it out but I am feeling much better and I'm in good spirits like I said so I want to get lots of content done today. I plan on doing a TikTok, Instagram Reels, and a YouTube content video. So I'm going to work on the TikTok first because I figure, I think this is good enough. <laughs> Hold on. I figure why not kill two birds, one stone type of thing. I was about to saturate that. So since the YouTube content that I'm planning to do today is more of like a, a sit down if you will I'm not doing my makeup I want my makeup to be done before I start filming so I'm gonna use my um, get ready with me time of me actually getting ready to film the YouTube content as my TikTok content as a get ready with me over there on that platform um, I've been enjoying doing TikTok content it's just like so effortless and I, I you don't necessarily have to think too hard about it honestly and I'm someone who does a little bit of everything so it's even easier for me I feel but I've been enjoying it not just watching it but also creating the content I think I told you guys that before coffee is done I'm actually having um iced coffee delicious um, so yeah, I've been enjoying doing that, so I'm going to keep it up and keep it going. I've been active, I feel, on all three of my platforms, three being TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. I've been, I've been active on Instagram. It's been a minute, but, you know, we're just going with the flow and seeing how things go this year, but I'm feeling really optimistic, really good and i'm having fun with it which is the most important part you want to have fun with whatever you're doing don't just do things just because everybody else is doing it you know enjoy it and i'm enjoying it and i'm happy about it so that's my plans for today a lot of like i said content to be done to get filmed then you gotta take time to edit tiktok stuff doesn't really take that long to edit maybe 30 minutes to an hour depending on the video um, and YouTube takes a little longer as we all know but it'll all get done which is fine 
Um, we may not, you know, start to finish film and edit everything today, but at least we're getting the filming done. And I always have tomorrow to, you know, edit and stuff. I do need to take time to clean my house though. And I don't mean just like a small pickup. I mean deep clean because it's gotten out of hand, honestly. So I'm probably not going to have time to do that today, but I will definitely get into it tomorrow because it needs to be done before the start of a new week. I am not going into another week with my house looking like this. So, yeah. But I'm going to go get this content filmed and done. We'll probably catch back up when I'm done with the TikTok and right before I film the YouTube content. So, I'll talk to you guys in what's like a second to you, but like it's going to be for some time for me. All right, you guys, just finished filming the TikTok. Get ready with me for this look. I have a mess to clean up. It definitely took longer than I anticipated just because I've never really done a get ready with me for TikTok. And you know, with TikTok, everything is about short form content. So trying to do a full face in like a small time frame is kind of difficult for me, especially someone who loves to talk. So we had to keep it real simple. Hopefully it comes out good. I will probably edit that later just because that's one of the quicker videos to edit. Um, but now I'm going to get ready to transition everything over to film for you guys here on YouTube. And for that, I need to sit at my main desk. I kind of did a makeshift setup for TikTok. I filmed by these Alex Shores just to give a little bit of a, you know, different scenery versus filming this way all the time for everything. Um, so switching things up, I did by the Alex Shores behind me. So that was nice. Again, hopefully it comes out great. Um, I'll edit that later on today. So that's the update for now. I'm gonna clean this up. I think I'm also going to um, just add some curls in my hair. I mean, I've been loving the straight look, but I think, or should I just keep it straight? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know I'll figure that out I may straighten not straighten I may add some curls uh, for the YouTube video plus I got places to go today so I wouldn't technically be doing it for nothing but we'll figure it out we will figure it out and these are all the this is as many brushes as I use today not too bad not too bad for a full face and of course my sponge oh and I used this little puff that um, you guys seen that I got from Amazon. I like this. I like this a lot. There's actually, I have updates to give about a couple of the different things that I purchased from Amazon. Just know I, I, I am loving a lot, if not all, of the products. So, like I said, I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to film that content. So we can be done. What is the time? Time check. Let's see. 11.37. Not too bad. Not too bad. Hopefully we can have this next video done by 12.30, 1 o'clock, the latest. And we'll be good. Alright y'all, I have made it to Sephora. I just need to find a parking spot. Um, I'm going to run in here and get some stuff that we need. Oh, there's a parking right there, sir, ma'am, whoever you are, I'm going to need you to wait. Oh, let me just back up, actually. You know what? I don't got time. They're too close to my behind. So, I'm just going to park somewhere else, but I need to run in here real quick. Unfortunately, our Sephora is inside Kohl's, so it's not what I would consider a real Sephora, but Sephora nonetheless. So, I'm going to pick up a couple of things from here, and I am going to run an Ulta too, since it's right here, literally. I'm going to run an Ulta as well, because I need to get my niacinamide serum. Um, and then 
that's it. I think I'm gonna try and see Janaya today on my way in. So we might see her today too. Because I haven't seen her in a while because I haven't been feeling good. But I do have Roxy with me if you guys want to see her. Come here. I'm sure she's ready to get out. You ready to get out? Say hello, everybody. Looking scruffy. I gotta book her a grooming appointment. We've been doing the grooming ourselves. Well, more like Bubby's been grooming her. But I wanna book her an appointment for it to be professionally done because I think she deserves to have it professionally done. You know, every once in a while, we don't always have to do everything ourselves. Right? Right. So, let's go in here. Oh, shoot. I didn't bring an extra SD card. And I don't know how much space I have left on this one. Because I've been doing so much filming today. I'll see you guys later, though. I'll see you guys later. editing the vlog that you guys are watching right now and I realized two things number one I never showed you guys what I got from TJ Maxx if you do want to see what I got from Sephora then you guys can head over to my TikTok I've been very consistent on there I have been obsessed with TikTok and posting and just you know getting content content up on that platform so yeah I have tons of content for you guys to go see if you guys are interested but um the sephora haul if you will is up on there and then i also got a package from sephora as well that i might as well open with you guys since i'm on camera um i was going to show you guys in the next vlog but since i didn't close out this one we're gonna do it here you know there's no need to wait when the package is already here the amazon stuff hasn't come yet though um, but anyway, lucky for you guys, I haven't put anything up. Also, I have my one of my lights, studio lights on, because I'm not really feeling the vibe of the light in the room that we put in here. So we're actually going to be taking that out and replacing it with, um, I got to pick up another light similar to the one in the office, because that one's just like so bright. And this one is supposed to be LED, but like it doesn't give too much light other than focused in one area and it's just it doesn't work for me so yeah um the first thing i got from tj maxx was this kula uh, refreshing water mist sunscreen so i've actually been looking to get this and when i saw it it was actually on the shelf as i was going towards the checkout of course so i picked i picked it up because i was like why not i probably would use that more so in like the warmer months but spring is almost is it spring spring summer winter fall fall winter wait i don't know warmer months are coming up regardless of if it's spring or not yeah it's spring because spring break comes before summer break anyway it's gonna get warm soon that's all i care about 
And then I got two different sets of earrings for Valentine's Day. I thought they would be cute. Uh, this is the first set. So it comes with two. You have like little gold hearts, which I think is super cute. And then your typical stud earring. I'm thinking of wearing these together because I do have um, two. I don't know if you guys can see, but I do have two holes. One, two. Technically, I have three, actually. I have two on the bottom lobe and one right in the middle. Um, so anyway, I have gotten that. And then I saw these ones, which are a little bit different. They're a little, a little different. I was going to say spunky, but different for sure. But I thought they were so cute. So let me show you guys these ones. Boom. Can you see? So as you guys can see, it kind of looks like a paper clip with a heart at the end. I don't know. It's just really cute. And gold, of course. I love gold jewelry. It's my favorite. I prefer gold over silver. So I got those. And then I also picked up this bath bomb duo. This is... Um, shea butter and pink clay in one of them and then I'm assuming the other one has pink Himalayan salt I don't know it's a set of two one's coconut almond and the other one is lavender rose but this is what it looks like well you can't really see them can you just two big bath bombs normally I get like the pack of like multiple more than two but they don't have those all the time, and they definitely didn't have it this time. So, And then the final thing I got is some new pajamas, because anyone that knows me, whether it's TJ Maxx or um, Target, I'm always grabbing some PJs. So it's a two-piece set. I thought it was really cute. I don't have any purple pajamas, and I thought it would be adorable. So I have that, and then the top is this super cute I love pajamas love 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 pajamas and these are from a brand called ink and ivy never have bought this brand from there before but we'll see how I like the way it fits but it's cute nice and purple perfect for Valentine's Day so here is our Sephora package I was actually waiting on this because I'm gonna need this or tomorrow actually I think I'm gonna wear those pajamas tomorrow too so, yeah. come in oh I thought you were on the phone oh no what happened oh uh, you want to watch your yeah just give me a second I'll be there transform who oh, me you look different from that other side because I have my hair in a bun huh? something's beeping yeah, do you want me to rock your face? Oh. Okay. I didn't get too much. I just literally, because like I said, I went to Sephora, but there were certain things that they didn't have in store. Um, starting with the foundation. This is the Light Reflecting Foundation from NARS. They did not have Stromboli in the store on the shelves so instead of trying to play around with another shade um i just went ahead and purchased it she looks so cute so i believe i've tried stromboli before in like a different foundation of theirs but it's supposed to be um what fits me best based off of the Makeup by Mario um, foundation, so we're gonna give that a go and see how we like her. And then I heard good things about this one size powder, so I had gotten this one. They didn't have any minis in store, they had the regular size, and I wanna make sure I like it before I buy a big one. So um, I just purchased the mini on Sephora's website since I had to make the order anyway for the NARS foundation so we have that and I might use that tomorrow too um, and then the last thing I got was forget the filter lip plumping smoothing gloss from lawless it's a little mini this is in rosy outlook let's see what she looks like whoa it's a frosted bottle so I don't know if you guys can be able to see too well but it's a frosted bottle in the drawers I have a lot of like 
pink clear glosses um, that I've kind of been obsessed with lately, but I really wanted to try this one. So I said, I'm just gonna get a mini of it as well. Uh, and if I really, really, really love it, then I'll be ordering a full size. And then as my freebies, I guess you would say, um, I got the YSL Lip Cheek Balm Tints, like little testers or whatever. So you have three different shades. I'm definitely interested in trying Pinch. So I got that. And then I also got the Lancome. I'm not even going to say what this is called, but it's basically a serum. It's expensive, but it's amazing. So I got the little sample one or whatever. I am going to end the vlog here. Normally I don't give like a formal end to the vlog. It just kind of ends, but I felt kind of bad because... I never showed you guys the stuff and I know how much you guys enjoy, you know, seeing the things that I buy and purchase. So more stuff to add to your list um, or my list for that matter. But I'm going to finish getting this video done. Gonna relax for the rest of the night and watch. I think we're watching, what's it called? All the Queen's Men. Honestly, it's giving me P-Valley, but girl version, truthfully. So that's what we're watching, but yeah, that's it. So I will see you guys in the next vlog, hopefully, or the next video, actually, which should be beauty content. Um, but until then, just know that I love you guys and I appreciate each and every one of you.